recently been tasked with uh, creating a blog post for a pretty popular blog, Web Designer Depot. And for that blog post, it's going to outline how to use foundation for emails. And I figured while I'm doing that, I should be, you know, doing two things at once. So killing two, two birds with one stone. So my thought is for my agency, I'd like to create a new email newsletter template. So this little series will be me actually designing it. I won't show you the whole thing because the tutorial on Web Designer Depot is going to give you the full spectrum. Granted, it's in written form, but um, I hope you guys will check it out at the end. I won't publish this till probably after the fact, so you'll maybe see the link to the blog in this uh, description um, or the, the links throughout this series. So uh, I hope you enjoy it, and here we go. So before we jump into any design, I want to at least establish the groundwork of designing for an email. There's a lot of constraints with emails, te technically speaking, uh, simply because it's kind of an old, you kind of have to go back in time and code these things in a certain way. Um, luckily, like foundation for emails, like I mentioned in the intro, help us do that more efficiently today. So I don't have to code 800 tables to make a, a title or image look right in an email. And then there's also dealing with responsive web design. So before I dive in, I want to at least establish that first, the email is going to be about uh, for my agency. And it's essentially going to be a newslet newsletter kind of email where we talk about recent uh, projects we worked on or recent blog posts we authored, maybe some stuff in the news about us or even inspirational links that we, we kind of publish or see other people publish. So in doing that, my mind kind of goes to blank and I need to find, you know, just a kind of an outlet to uh, find a, a decent email design. I think I'm leaning towards kind of a simple approach, maybe like this Harry's, I think what's a dollar shave club or something. I don't know if that's what it's called, but basically a, a clean approach, but better than like default templates from MailChimp or a similar service. These are great because they're basically tested and redefined and responsive and stuff. But when it comes down to it, when I see someone who uses MailChimp use the, the, the template to email me like a newsletter or something like that, I, you know, it's kind of off-putting because it's like, well, you know, you're, you're, you're doing your best, but I, I pay attention to branded elements, you know, being a designer, it's just like something I'm really into so if i see you go the extra mile on a design for instance um, it captures my attention more and i think that's important when you're emailing people trying to get a response from them you'll see a lot of e-commerce platforms or promotional stores go above and beyond for the stuff like this and i think that's out of scope for what i want to do with this project but it's more or less maybe stemming from what they do Again, it goes back to restrictions. So you can't just do anything and everything in an email. There are workarounds, but I'd rather not hack my way through it. For instance, Zerb's foundation cards, Flexbox email over here is pretty, you know, it's basic. It's got images, some code, some actual images themselves and links and stuff like that. It's pretty, you know, that's all I need. I just need a simple way to digest information. Obviously, if it looks good at the end of the day, that's important, but um, I will share these. I just did a, a Google for email template design inspiration, and a lot of these links that came back were really great. Uh, I think really good emails was it one of the newest ones I've found recently um, that I really enjoy. Uh, there's tons of categories you guys can check out. I'll leave those links in the description for you. Going back to our branding, um, it's kind of scattered. We've, I've, I don't know how many times I've updated this homepage to kind of reflect what we do. Uh, we're essentially two people. My fiance, Alyssa and I started this couple of creatives agency and we focus on building brands for primarily smaller businesses or startups, people just kind of coming into the market, but we work with brands of all types, of course, too. What we'd like to provide is full range service, like full service marketing for a business that's kind of in um, ongoing fashion. So quick, you know, projects are great, but we prefer 
kind of the ongoing route so that there's some st stability there and you know we can kind of really mold a brand to be something that we're proud of i keep scrolling here you guys are probably sick of that but we have a blog too that we author on and we just started recently doing a lot of video which i have done on this channel as well so you guys have probably noticed that if you're watching um, but yeah if you are interested in working with us or anything feel free to check us out I initially did this design and sketch um, before I hit affinity hard as you've seen in my other videos and it looked like something like this before we had video and stuff going on so there's a lot of illustrations and I think we'll carry on that vibe in the template design we might use some of these elements to be honest but we'll see I, I might play it safe and, and go very minimal you know I don't know so this video is just kind of introductory to give you a behind the scenes of why I'm doing this. And um, obviously there's a couple intents. It's for the blog post I mentioned in the initial video or introduction video, if you haven't seen it, go check that out. Um, it's about a blog post for um, Web Designer Depot that I'm going to talk about. Let me pull it up. Foundation for emails. Zurb had created this responsive email framework, which was formerly called Inc. Um, for emails, and it is awesome. And I, I'm surprised it, there's not much talk about it these days. But if you if you've ever worked with emails, you know it's basically tables, and that's table layouts. Oh God, it's awful, but they work. All the email platforms, Outlook, uh, Gmail, all that stuff support this stuff, but each email client's different. So Zurb would take it under their own efforts to put it something out there that's useful and easy to kind of manage that's also modern. So with this stuff, I can use SAS, I can use Gulp. Uh, I think they use Webpack or something like this. No, it's Gulp to compile assets. It uses a handlebars kind of templating language. So you can use partials. You can um, use their predefined classes and customize those. And I don't know, it's just, when I found this, I was just pretty blown away. So if you're kind of put off by designing an email template and coding it, I'd recommend checking this out. It's really streams line, streamlines your workflow and makes it a lot easier. So. Um, look for this more about this in the Web Designer Depot article. In this video series, I'm just going to be focused on design. So, without further ado, in the next video, I'll actually get started maybe wireframing out um, how it's going to look and what kind of content we want to show in the email template. So, I will see you guys in the next one.